Hey, I'm Eric Haugen. Here's my website, my Patreon, my Instagram, my Spotify artist page. Like my video, subscribe to my channel. If this content entertains you, helps me when you do that. That's a win-win. Today we got the Vox AC4 hand-wired. Let's just call it the Voxiest Vox that ever did Vox. high input, uh, all the knobs are just straight up the middle, no attenuator. You guys know I often use attenuators because, yo, protect your ears, you don't want to have the damage and the tinnitus that I have, um, all the time. Uh, this one actually makes it hard to hook up an attenuator the way they have it set up, so I'm like, all right, let's test your master volume control. <laughs> Kinks, what is that? Johnny Thunder. Uh, that other thing was the Who substitute. So what is the Vox thing that we talk about? The Vox chime, the Vox chirp? Here's what I think it is. I think it's very specifically something unique and balanced about the way the upper strings That to me is, I don't know how to describe that other, like, other than the notes are like kind of squoze together in a very pleasing way. Here, let's play around bridge pickup, same, I don't know what this idea is. <laughs> that just, yeah. Here, let's play some guided by voices. First, we'll do it in middle position. Yeah, that unique, yeah, it's very hard to describe, the Vox chirp, the Vox chime, but yeah, this one does it just out of the box, knob straight up the middle, you're like, oh, cool. <laughs> Rhythm guitar player's best friend, I mean, this is just, I'm like, every, every chord I strum, I'm like, yep, that sounds like a guitar part. <laughs> I can't play it, but... Nah, I don't remember. And Beatles and Your Bird Can Sing, I don't remember it now, but... That to me is such a vox. Let's just test while we're in this kind of medium clean mode. Yeah, by the way, I'm not worrying about the uh, hot cool button. I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, oh, by the way, yeah, Vox sent me this amp because Vox is super nice to me. Tom, you're my boy. Thanks, man. Um, so, you know, so I don't feel like a capitalist shill. I'll say things that I'm like, man, this, this part I don't care about. The hot button, you can watch Andy's demo on that. I'm sure there's tons of demos of this amp already. I don't like it. Um, it's too much of a boost. So I'm like, yo, I'm just gonna show you the sounds that, that work for me. High, high, uh, high input, uh, cool mode. Uh, here, let's play, what am I, what was I about to play? Yeah, let's do a chill version of Roxanne. <laughs> Cool. 
other things, so I do think this thing is quintessentially voxy. The only other thing I'm gonna talk about, I'll probably switch the speaker out. It's no shade on the circuit, but I don't like Celestian Greenbacks. I swear they have like a on the top end that specifically accentuates your fret buzz. Which of course you can use, that's kind of a cool. But you gotta watch out, that means if you dig in super hard with your pick, you're gonna get. That's oh, funny, I talk about how that's not a cool sound and now I'm hearing, I'm like, yeah, that is a cool sound. That happens all the time. I form formulate my little opinions and then I start filming. I'm like, nope, I disagree with myself already. Warren Zevon, Lawyers, Guns, and Money. I win. I don't identify with those lyrics, but that is a great line. Let's test while we're in this mode, just kind of like the overall, you know, chill vibe of it. I always go to E major pentatonic for chill vibes. I was, uh, oh, um, yeah, no, let's just stay there. Now, the one other thing let's talk about, I'm about to switch up and grab my Firebird and see what it sounds like with Firebird pickups. Let's, let's play some U2, watch. We'll talk about the edge in a second. Let me just see if we're my timing in. I think that's set, right? It's so hard to set the, oh, that's why. Hold on, that one. die on this hill, the Edge is a better guitar player than people give him credit for. They, everybody, the internet likes to go, oh, he just uses delay pedals. Well, A, he's a freaking genius of delay layering. We all can acknowledge that. But also, his strumming and his uh, muting technique, you try and play that lick cleanly. <laughs> One of the hardest things you could play on this instrument. Just saying, just throwing it out there. All right, now let's pause. I think I played all the things I wanted to play with this guitar, with this setting. Now we're gonna turn the gain all the way up and pull out the Firebird and see how mean it can get. Pause. <laughs> Uh, Firebird pickup, bridge position. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to see, this is now the gain, still still cool vibes, gain all the way up. Um, not Yeah, cool channel, gain all the way up, high input. I had this dumb riff the other day. Still cool. Say you were like a blues person. Let's put, okay, let's start to play, boy. Dynamic delay, harmonic tremolo. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, hold on. Now I know I'm just playing around with pedals, whatever. Uh, octave fuzz. <laughs> Same key. I'm not peeking out, am I? By the way, that's my dusky. Augustus, octave fuzz, just buy it. For that alone! But check this out, if you roll that volume back, you get all sorts of weird ring mod stuff. or two. <laughs> hmm. Pause, pause, pause. Okay, though, that of course is me more showing off my pedal board at that point, but hey, that works. That sounded nice. <laughs> So let's review um, this one. So let's talk about, you know, out of the box, boom. You're like, <laughs> out of the box, box, click, click. Like that's super cool. Like out of the, out of the box, you're like, oh, there's that sound that the Vox quote unquote chime, which I argue is a special kind of compression that just puts the notes together in like a, a great chirpy way. Things I'm like, mm, I might switch out. I don't love Celestian Greenbacks because that, I might get um, my bu my buddies at Weber to um, hook me up, or you know, buy at a discount. Um, one of their uh, was their version of the Celestian Blue. I might get a hemp cone one to see about playing with the top end a little bit, make it a little bit smoky in the top end. Um, and this is and so other thing. This is just has nothing to do with anything, but this is what I do. This is the third time I've shot this video, so I've just blah 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 blah. I don't know what I've said already. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of construction in my neighborhood and uh, watch probably at some point right now you'll hear beep, 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 beep. I don't have to turn the cameras off. That's why if I'm talking fast, that's why. You don't know what this is like. I don't have a studio. This is my apartment. I just got to work with what I got around me. Support me on Patreon, please. This is hard work. Um, other thing I was going to say, all new amps, they're doing a thing, I guess, to protect you the user from electrocution, they're making the tubes very inaccessible. The VibroChamp does it, the Supro does it, this one does it too. You're like, oh, I guess I have to get my electric screwdriver out when a tube goes bad, which I get why they do that, because they don't want people to die. Living is better than dying. Uh, but it is a little bit like, oh, I just want to be able to pull a tube out when they go bad, because tubes go bad, by the way. Part of owning tube amps is, is knowing when like that weird sound that you're getting is a bad preamp tube or a bad power tube. Go to the Telecaster discussion forum, TDPRI, for all your questions. That's always been a good forum for me. When I'm like, why is my amp doing this thing? And yeah, it has the least teenagers on it, the most knowledgeable, kind people. That's a good forum. Uh, yeah, but... I think the, the main conclusion, like all amps, once you spend some money, uh, they're, they're, they sound good. They're inspiring to play. Yeah, this one is. It's just beautiful. It's the Vox thing, just, just right there. My friend David described this, the Fawn, right? They call it the Fawn Tolex covering. It's beautiful, but it's like, yeah, the beautiful co covering that almost matches nothing. Luckily for me, it does seem to fit my, you know, hipster doofus um, 
aesthetic here, so that works. But it's funny, yeah, to put it next to other ants, you're like, oh, it doesn't quite match, but yeah, that's, that's nothing. Uh, all right, I guess I think I covered everything in all these three videos. <laughs> you're only seeing the third one. Uh, uh, yeah, thank you everybody to, who supports me. Uh, you know I don't put ads on my channel because I hate them. Uh, so I make my living from people booking lessons with me, from buying my PDF downloads or supporting me on Patreon. Thank you, everybody. Uh, as Bill and Ted would say, be excellent to each other. That includes yourself. You know, it's a tough life, man. You don't know how long you got. Be cool. Be cool to yourself. Be cool to the people around you. And uh, I'll be back next week, hopefully, if I can create content uh, comfortably, I'll be back. If not, you might not see me. I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm struggling. I'm struggling to be able to make content at this point. I mean, fingers crossed. It's just how it is, man. I need a, I need a television studio or something. Happy Friday. Eat pizza. <laughs>